Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about squash bugs because it is that time of the year again. We're about a week away from when we would typically start seeing the signs that squash bugs have made their appearance. We would start seeing eggs on the top or on the underside of our leaves or start seeing the squash bugs in and around our garden bed. So that means the time has come to start prevention. I've said it before, I will say it again, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And with squash bugs, that is exceptionally true. Squash bugs can get out of control really quickly. So the key is to prevent because they can wreak havoc on your crop. So you want to prevent them. So this is how we are going to prevent them today. I have just some homemade peppermint spray here. Now you would ordinarily use peppermint oil in your water with a little bit of dish soap to keep the oil and the water mixed together. I actually did not have any oil. So what I essentially did was made a very strong tea. <laughs> I steeped dried peppermint leaves from my garden last year um, and made a very strong tea essentially. Uh, but it's going to do the same thing. It won't last as long on the uh, zucchini and squash plants um, as long as an oil wood and oil that smell is going to last longer but the point is is just to mask the smell and this believe me has a very strong peppermint smell so all we're trying to do is mask the scent of the plant so this is going to do the same thing the other products we are going to use around the base is this captain jack's dead bug for organic gardening. This is a pest powder that we are going to sprinkle around the bottom that is going to kill any bugs as they start crawling up to your plant. So let's go ahead and treat these bad boys. All right, the first thing we're going to use is my peppermint spray. Now what we're going to do, I'm actually going to try to avoid the leaves as much as possible because I do not want to burn holes in the leaves, but all the way around even on the edges get underneath here all the way around the base and along the outside of the garden we are just trying to mask this scent here so that bugs do not think that they are welcome to make a home here because they are not this is a no vacancy sign. No, you are not welcome. There are no apartments available. You're just gonna have to try somewhere else. So I'm just gonna keep spraying and then we are going to move on to the dust. So I have my camera set up here so that I've got whoop, both hands available. So I can easily um, spray my powder dust here and uh, get it more accurately than trying to do it with one hand. So all we're going to do is, well, first you want to give this a nice shaky shaky. You're going to peel back some of the leaves here and what we're going to do is we're just going to put a nice layer of powder around the base of the plant here so that anything that we don't want tries to crawl towards the plant will die whenever it crosses our path of powder. So let's get in here. Let's get this spread down. All right. So that is a nice layer. Anything that tries to cross will die when it crosses the powder. Now one more thing I forgot to mention with the peppermint spray is not only spray everywhere around it along the sides of your bed and everything, you can also spray down straight down into the middle of the plant as well. So go ahead and do that as well. All right, everyone, and my squash and zucchini plants are nice and protected. Now, you're going to want to be on a schedule um, with treating for squash bugs and other pests with your squash and zucchini plants. I would recommend about once a week. Um, now with this peppermint spray, since this is not oil, it doesn't have the oil in it, this is not going to last as long, I will probably come out and spray with this every couple of days. But if you do have peppermint oil spray and the dust, that you would just wanna do once a week to keep your plants protected. So that's all for us here at the Garden of Vendors. Like and subscribe and we will see you all next time. Bye everyone.